Hey, it's Mr. Drew here, and welcome back to our channel. And today we're gonna to be talking about the monitor lizards. We're in right now Rockette's cage. Rockette is a Nile monitor. She's the largest African lizard, the fourth largest lizard in the world. She, the females get up to five feet, and that's how big Rockette is. The males get up to seven. And monitor lizards are the same family as you might know, the Komodo dragons. Komodos are the largest of the monitor lizards. And then there's other monitors, tree monitors, savanna monitors. These different type of monitors all have the same ability. And I've got some food for her today, and I don't know if she's gonna wanna come up here and sit with me, but let's see if I can get her to come join me. Oh, come on up, girl. Now, monitors in the wild eat a wide range of things. And the Nile monitor is a good swimmer and they're good climbers. They have powerful claws and stuff for digging and a big flat tail for swimming. And come on up here, I want you to come see me. So, Rockette, usually these species are pretty aggressive, but, oh look, right here. You can get up here. Show everybody what you can do. That tongue. If you see that big blue tongue, she's smelling and it's forked like a snake's tongue to tell her what direction to find her food. Smell underground, underwater, up a tree. She can smell something three miles away if the winds are blowing right. And she's just being lazy. I want you to come up and get this. Come on up here and show everybody how what you can do. Oh, come on, go on. I see you trying to get up there. We need you up here in my lap. If you want it, it's over here. She's checking everything out. What, do we need to put a log up here so you can climb up here better? Whoa. I know you can jump. I see you getting ready to jump. Now, she will eat the chicken wing. This wing here has the bone still intact, and it is raw. A lot of people say that. Do you cook it for them? No, they don't. nobody cooks for them in the wild. And, oh, there you go. You're finally climbing up. It might be a little slippery on that tile, isn't it? So these guys eat a wide range of things. But again, these are not, oh, come here, you. Oh, and so I'm gonna play with her a little bit. Look at that, whoa. And I'm gonna let her think that her food is fighting. This is what we call natural enrichment. So she, in the wild, would be eating a live animal and stuff, and oh, oh, she got it from me. <laughs> we don't want her to get too discouraged. We want her to actually feel like she's accomplished something. And there she goes. Now she's chewing on it. She's got to position it right so she can swallow the thing whole. That's crazy. If you look, imagine eating this chicken wing and swallowing it whole. Oh man, with bones and all. There she goes. It might take her a moment, but she'll figure that out. This is one of their diets. They eat, we give them all kinds of things from eggs to fish. She's a big fan of salmon and stuff. They have a very expensive diet. Now, these are illegal to own in Maine. You have to have permits to own this species. And typically, they tend to be a little more aggressive. Uh, but she's been worked with. Her owner had uh, terminal cancer, and he worked very hard with her. We got her, and we kept on working with her to keep her very calm. And she'll let me get in here and pet her, touch her, feel her, while she, even when she's eating. And I can try to get over here. Get over here, you big girl. Sit up here with me. There we go. Let me see that chicken wing. Oh, give that to me. Give it to me. And so look at that. She's going to sit there and like, no, just let me be. I'm going to go eat my wing in peace. An amazing animal. Now, one of the things about monitors that people might not realize is they're actually, they have a venomous bite. They do have very small venom glands, what they call the varanid species, which she is, have these small venom glands that can do damage. A lot of times they thought it was just bacteria in their mouth. And that bacteria is what caused infection, which led to, to the possible death of the animal. But there is a venom in there. Uh, it's not strong enough to kill humans, but it is enough to make you very uncomfortable should they bite you. Now, it looks like this might be a challenge, but you imagine she would do this with the whole bird attached. So she's going to slam it around. She's going to loosen it up. She's going to get what she needs to get this down. So I don't know if this is graphic content for you, but it is a fact of life. These guys do eat. So a Komodo dragon, much larger, can swallow an entire deer. 
And that's pretty amazing. So these guys can eat a wide range of things. They're designed that way to swallow things whole, not chew their foods like we do and stuff. So they will swallow it whole no matter what. And again, nobody's cutting it up for them in the wild. So this is the closest thing we've got to a Komodo dragon. And she's just an amazing animal. Uh, we love her dearly. And uh, we, we're glad we could build a nice pen for her to give her a chance to climb around and explore. And sometimes we'll find her on the wiring, just hanging out. They're good climbers. So I hope you enjoyed learning about our Nile Monitor Rockette and how she's a cousin of the Komodo Dragon. And please, if you like our content, subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications and give us a big thumbs up. Peace and love in these wild times.